Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're talking about the F4 EJ ADTW, the premium phantom for Japan at 11.0. And truthfully, if it's worth it, and to be honest with you, the answer really depends on your playstyle. If you want to just go bomb bases or something that is potentially decent in ground to ground combat, yeah, go for it. Like, in regards to this ground pound capability, it's got excellent base killing capacity. Usually, you can get two bases plus some ground units with the bombs. In regards to ground realistic gameplay, if you are lucky and don't get swatted by a Z19 or something stupid like a Pansy or soon as you spawn, or a MiG-29 camping the airfield or something like that there. You do have quite a potent arsenal of weapons, such as 17 750 pound bombs, 60 Sunnis, 285 Mighty Marses. So you do have the capacity to be quite potent in regards to giving ground support. However, with the lack of guided munitions, you are very susceptible to anti-aircraft fire and planes coming in. There's no launching him and there's like there's no mo launching the Maverick from this thing at 6k. There's no dropping a paveway from five or six kilometers out. There's no none of that fancy shit. You have to be over the battlefield doing it. Or if you're lucky enough, just throw the bombs like old school days and praying God something hits. Uh, I don't see that now. I very rarely see someone throwing bombs now, so it is a very rare thing to see now. Gotta try it. I've got to make a video on that, trying to throw bombs and just like cluster an area. <clears throat> like just cluster an area. Sorry, my voice went there. My voice is not recovered from being out in Dartmoor. <laughs> it really hasn't. Great place though. Anyways, back within the video. Essentially, to me, this plane feels like the EJ Kai. But with our access to M9Ls, or uh, SM, I'm nearly sure it's M9Ls that gets access to, and all Doppler radar systems. Essentially, Factory Phantom with the agility of the EJ Kai. That's the best way I can describe it. Great for killing bases and earning SL when you get the chance to kill bases. So, a lot of times you will have bots that take your bases, bots will crash into you, or you'll get some friendly person that will shoot you down, like a dick. But that is worth under at the minute, unfortunately, especially around event time. As you can see in the background as well, while I'm talking over this, some of the gameplay of what it's like, it can be pretty mundane. You're flying out, dropping, flying back. Sometimes you get into a wee bit of a dogfight where you go out with the cannon and win. Sometimes your missile will work and you'll get a lock from the side. Most of the time, you'll fl they'll flare off the M9Ps. Your sparrows, they just don't, they don't like the function. Like the radar on this thing is piss poor. It really is piss poor. Like the radar is essentially fucking pointless and all truthfulness with it. However, when they do work, they'll work fine. They're a sparrow. It's just getting them maintaining that lock. M9Ps aren't too bad. They're a 20G missile, rare aspect, so if you can get the jump, they will work. Other than that there, in regards to air to air capabilities, this thing is nothing special. It's pretty mediocre overall due to the radar system. However, its ground pounding capacity is pretty good because of the large payload it can carry. While it lacks smart munitions, the unguided payload is pretty outstanding. Like 17 750 pound bombs is excellent. It really is. You can't be bad with that in any way. Now, is it worth it? Truthfully speaking, if you're going to just be playing air realistic, it's somewhat worth it. If you or if you're happy enough with bombing bases and winning the odd dogfight, this thing isn't going to win you medals every game. You're not going to get an ace every game with this thing. It's not perfect in any way, but it gets the job done. Now, if you do wish to get one of them planes that are god tier in every aspect for Japan. Probably the Kai 87. Kai 87 is excellent, my personal opinion. So is the J2M5. However, they won't help research rank 7. The F 86F, it's a 9.0 Saber with two air there missiles. It's okay, but it'll run into M9Ls and will get slapped pretty hard in the full up tier. Now, personally speaking, I do like the F 4EJ. I personally do like the ADTW a lot, actually, for the bombing reasons. You can make SL very quickly, especially with boosters. However, it's not for everyone. 
So would I recommend it? No, it's not a plane that... It's a plane that takes a lot of skill to use and it takes a lot of patience and a lot of time to get used to. It's not a plane you can simply jump in and be god here at the game. It's not a plane like the Sea Harrier where it's a very capable plane with AM9Ls, great acceleration and decent aerodynamics when it comes to dogfighting. This thing, it lacks an air superiority. It really does. It is lackluster in air superiority. So, if you're happy enough with focusing on bases and supporting teams and ground realistic, and you're happy enough taking the rest risk, or you just want the pretty looking phantom with a lovely skin, yeah, go for it, jump for it. It is fun in my opinion. However, personally speaking, I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. Anyways, with the other everyone, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully I shall see you in game or over on Discord. Anyways, thanks again everyone.